Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to my Antigone opening night vlog. Uh, I'm hoping this turns out well, trying to be like my absolute role model, Carrie Hope Fletcher, and also document some memories that I know I'm gonna want to have forever. I'm just gonna be taking you around with my day. Uh, my show is actually not until uh, 7, but I'm heading into uh, the SA at 1 to do some pre-show stuff, iron out some uh, issues that have come up in our rehearsal slash previews week. It's been going really well. Every day's been a huge step up, and I'm just so proud of this cast, this whole ensemble that I love so dearly. Um, and I just know that tonight is gonna be amazing. This is the look for opening night today. I'm trying to be comfortable because it is gonna be a long day, but also look cute and bring some red into the look because in our production, red is Antigone's color. I have my rehearsal bag packed. Yes, this is just my backpack, but uh, you use what you got. And we're ready to go. Let's head out. the theater early today so I thought I might do a little walk around of the theater of the space um, we've made a really interesting use I think of this space we've got four entrances despite the fact that we have an audience on three sides so I thought I'd just uh, walk around show you how we accomplished that so this is the downstage right entrance I uh, come in and out of here a few times and you can see how these risers were all built up we didn't start it that way um, so we've got it on three sides. Each side has three tiers each, and it all goes around this stage. It's an incredible stage worked on by our amazing set designer, Ella, and a bunch of other crew. We have, yes, this is real grass, and then some mulch that's actually rubber. We use this to protect the costumes when we kneel, because there is a lot of kneeling in this show. Um, up here are these real working doors. We do a lot of entrances and exit within them. Got these fun pretty handles. We go back. Here's a little bit of the palace. And we can walk around this way. This is where I make my first entrance into the show. And this is what it looks like back here. We gotta do a lot of ducking, especially our taller actors, because of the way that these things back here have been set up. We walk behind here, nice curtain, both to give uh, an idea of the palace and to make it a lot quieter when we walk back here. Go through the curtains. Now we're back behind the doors again. Hello! <laughs> Go through another curtain. I do a lot of waiting out down here um, before I enter both at my third scene and at the very end of the show. And we walk back through, and this is our backstage space. We dress directly into the green room, which is where a lot of us hang out um, when we're not on stage. So this is something I really like seeing um, when I see shows, is especially when we have something like a bag, and um, just props that we don't see a lot, don't get a lot of stage time. So at the very beginning of the show, I, I have this business with this bag that's supposed to have all the burial supplies that Antigone takes to um, cover the body of Polynices. And I'll usually pull out this map. I don't actually know what's a, what it's a map of, but it folds out all big. And usually this is an easy bit of business, starts to convey a little bit of where that I'm going somewhere. Next item that I usually pull out is this brush. Um, I guess because we're working with dirt and dust, in theory, uh, to cover the body. And next we have, there's ma references made to this ritual wine, that's a uh, part of Greek tradition. We have this wine bottle, really fancy label, usually this one doesn't get seen. And the rarest one of all, weirdly, is uh, a candle. I think, again, it's for, like, ritual things. I think it actually lights up, but, uh... You'd never know that. So yeah, this is what is in my bag, and it's 
kind of fun to have the option to do different things with your actor business every night. And I sling it over my shoulder and I head out. So yeah, that's what's in this bag. It's uh, really dark back here, so I don't know how well you can see, but here are some of the other props we use in the show. Uh, this staff over here is for Tiresias, and these are two spears for the guards. Down here we have the dummy, dummy we use for Eurydice's body at the end. Looks pretty naked right now because it gets the same costume for the actual living Eurydice uh, thrown on top of it before it goes out. Um, behind the doors, we of course also have my bag over there. In the very distance we have these cords that Ismeni and I get tied up with because, you know, gotta restrain them hostages. <laughs> our pre-show fixes. It's 3.30 and we're all on break to go get some food. I'm going to be walking to Feely, who is pretty much sponsoring this production at this point. Uh, we all go there a lot. This here is our lovely, lovely stage manager, Tucker, who we love and appreciate so much. She works so hard to make this production as amazing as it is, and she's just generally the best. My name is Davon, and I play Creon. Uh, and if, if you could play any other character, regardless of gender or anything, in the show, what would it be? It would probably be the Sentry. Or Teresius. The Sentry or Teresius. Just uh, introduce yourself. Tell me your name and what character you play. Or... Hi, I'm Nell, and I'm in the chorus. Um, Her, what's your favorite line to deliver in the show? My favorite line is the wild horse wind mane. And you always do it with such conviction. It's wonderful. Always. 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 I love some alliterations. So. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, introduce yourself. Tell me your name, what character you play, and I'm going to have a question uh, for you. My name is Dennis, and I'm playing Heyman. Um, if you could play any other character in the show, like regardless of gender or anything, uh, what would it be? Um, probably the sentry. Yeah, that's what Davon said I'm too. He's like a very funny character. And yeah, I just like it a lot. Yeah. So, uh, just tell me your name, what character you play. Hi, my name is Anu Janadu, and I play Teresius. And uh, what is your favorite line that you get to have in the show? Mm. It either has to be, you are sick, Creon, you are deathly sick, or... Do you want to buy me now, I love yeah. Do You Want to Buy Me Now, Creon. Every time you say it, I'm like backstage like, yes! Yeah. It's so yeah. good. I feel it. Hi, uh, tell me your name, what character you play. Hi, I'm Dania. I play as me, my beautiful sister. Um, and uh, I was wondering, what is your favorite line you get to say in the show? My favorite line is... <laughs> You are laughing at me. Why, Antigone? It is a joyless laughter, as many. <laughs> so we are dressed and getting ready for the show. We just got the half hour call. I am dressed in my favorite thing that I've ever put on my body. And uh, then we're gonna do a show. It's gonna be great. Sparta Run was insane, as always. So, uh, we got this, we got this. Death, bitter death. Bitter death. death. Dead. 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 Light. 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 
Let's ride. Pride. 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 eating and I'm gonna grab my slice but uh, she is the sweetest we love and that's all folks we did a show we opened the show finally we've been working on this uh, since the first day of our senior year and to see it really come together and get it in front of this like active audience has just been so amazing I am beyond proud of all these wonderful people who worked on this show and I love them all so much. And tomorrow we wake up and we do it again. And I'm very excited. But for now, good night. Good night. Good night.